Didn't expect... <laughs> Life is full of surprises. Someone really ought to clean this mess up. What do you want? They asked me to speak to you. Fine. So what do you have to tell me? I fear I'm the bearer of bad news. Listen to me. The procedure was a success. We removed the biochip. But the damage it wrought proved enormous. At the genetic level, altered DNA. The kind you would find in those suffering from radiation sickness. And sadly, it's lethal. So you're telling me I'm gonna die? All the options have yet to be exhausted. What other options are there? Already gone under the knife once. Arasaka Corporation has the capability to cheat death. All we require from you is a dose of trust. Trusted you once, already. Fat lot of good that did me. You may join our pilot program. Secure your soul. I fear your body is no longer of any use. You must abandon it. We will create an engram of your mind and store it in Mikoshi. Store it? Why can't I just get a new body? We have yet to solve the compatibility issue. Doesn't sound like you had much of a problem with Saburo Arasaka. You have no offspring. Nor do you have an entire clinic focused solely on your care. So let's say I agree. Land in Arasaka's soul prison, put myself at their mercy. Do I even need to ask about the catch? All is set forth in a contract, guaranteed therein. You must merely sign it. If you wish to live, that is. Now, since a digitized psyche is not legally an individual, the contract entails relinquishing your rights. A temporary measure, naturally. No. Not about to become the property of Arasaka Corp. Current participants of the program are all well known, Influential people, we have yet to receive any complaints. And if I refuse? Your belongings are packed. A shuttle will take you back to Earth, and you will be dead before winter. It's no easy decision, I know. You should think it through carefully. I want to live. As do most. There's no point in delaying. We can begin immediately. See you in the future, I hope. Yes, see you. Our staff will take it from here. Hey, what's your name? Hajime. Hajime, let me ask you something. What would you say to a person who walked right into their greatest foe's jail to save their life? Hmm. I would say, all right, but do not forget the way home.
watch the Earth looking from way up there. She is pretty, as they say. Or is that just another lie? Listen, don't forget, your implants were made for Earth gravity. Could start acting up in orbit. What I'm trying to say is, don't ignore any arrow warnings, okay? And when you're back, I mean, if you come back, I'll do a full checkup. Maybe even give you a little discount. Take care, V. Hey, V. Everyone's telling me you're a, a base gordo now. A big shot, eh? <laughs> so big you can't call me once a week. Once a month, even. Don't forget where you started. Who you started with, hmm? My door's always open to you, Lee. There's always food on my table. Mi casa es su casa. No se te olvide. Ahí te veo, V. Hey, V. I'm just, uh... I'm calling to say goodbye. I finally decided to up and leave this city for good. Realize this place only gives you two choices. You either become an asshole, or eventually you get off by one. I hope you somehow find an alternative. Just a shame things had to end this way. Have a nice life, V. Hello, V. How are things? Weather in the Badlands is pleasant as usual. My cooler melted, it's 90 degrees in the shade, and there's sandstorms heading straight for us. So yeah, you're missing out. No, but seriously, we're doing all right. Saul and I somehow get along, for better or for worse. But still, family's always growing, work's always piling up. But better to keep busy, right? And to think if it wasn't for you, I'd still be stumbling my way through Night City. So I just want to say thank you. For all you've done for me. I'd still be lost if you hadn't set me on the right track. All right, well, talk soon, V. Don't be a stranger. Hello, V. Um, Saul speaking. Heard about something big happening in Night City, with a certain V in the lead role. Uh, don't know what you plan to do now, but just remember, we always take care of our own. And, um, you're one of us now, V. You're an Aldo Caldo. Remember that. Ah, uh, take care of yourself, V. And see you around. V, hey! Can you hear me? Shit, is this thing recording? Okay, well, all of us have been wondering when you're finally gonna drop by. We can get a barbecue going, knock a few back, do a couple of races, or pay a friendly visit to the Raff and Shiv. Guess what I'm trying to say is, well, Badlands could use a badass like you, V. Don't know what you got on your plate right now, but remember, you're welcome out here anytime. All right, now, take care. Hey, Rogue here. I wanted to... Oh, voicemail. <laughs> Why not? V? I was wondering if you could pass the message along to Johnny. Two messages, actually. One, that he's an arrogant, egotistical son of a bitch. And second, that it was nice to talk to him again. Both of you, take care of yourselves, okay? Hey, V, so funny thing just said. Oh, fuck, fuck, shit. Voicemail again. Do you ever answer the phone? Like, ever? Seriously. I can get through to data term customer service faster than you. <sighs> what did I even want? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that us cracks agent called me and asked if I would go on tour with them? At first, I was like, over my dead fucking body. But then I thought, hey, wait. 
I could actually be fun. So, uh, what else? Well, there's the latest gossip for you, if you even care. Call me back when you can, okay? Yeah? Bye! Hey, V. Orbital connections cost an arm and a leg, so I'll just get right to it. I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot and... Oh, dear. The Fool, the Moon, the High Priestess. Those, uh... Those are bad cards. Keep a close eye on your new friends, V. I mean it. to pay the 